Salma, thank you for joining us on thank the Alternative you, Cinema Sam. Show. A couple of years ago, you told me you were making The Prophet uh, in order to give homage to your Lebanese heritage. Why did you choose The Prophet? Many reasons. It, it, it's a book that reminds me of my grandfather. I have a relationship with the book and with my grandfather. Um, we have some sort of like a connection there because he used to have it always right next to his um, bedside table, on his bedside table, and that's where I discovered the book. And then I was very close to him, and after when he died, I found the book many years later, and, and I read it, and I felt like it was him talking to me and giving me advice and tools about life. And I learned a lot about who he was also through reading this book. So there's a personal story. But there also it's important that, you know, you can have a lot of connections and personal stories. That doesn't make a good movie. But I had a concept to make a movie that would be uplifting to the people and to children and for adults equally uh, stimulating and, um, and something unusual and in animation. And we would, you know, combine poetry and art and music, but make it fun, not pretentious, not preachy. And I came up with a concept that was an experiment that really made me very excited and passionate about creating this um, proposition for a different experience in a movie. Because the film is a different experience. And it does flow beautifully as a, as a, a one story, intact yeah. story. And that's, that's the beauty of it. And it's amazing that you've managed to take uh, these poems and turn them into a story. <laughs> You know what? That, that's, I think that's the greatness of this. Uh, film. What I think it happens, and, or what I hope it happens, is that all, you're watching a film, and all of a sudden, you get out of the film and you go inside of yourself. For this moment, we're not telling you what to think or how, what you're supposed to feel. In this moment, the film becomes yours. Well, for you, it's also a pivotal moment because this is the first time uh, you are playing an Arabic woman, which you had you have hadn't done prior no. to that. No. How come? Haven't you been ever approached to play an Arabic woman? Not really. I think there was one or two approaches, but in movies that I didn't think were going to do justice. And I mean, it is not ex explaining exactly where we are in the world. We know it's Middle East, but we all kept our accents to try to make the experience of the film a unifying experience in the world. The, the film has no country. When we try to submit it for festivals, they say, what country? We say, no country. Um, because I think what's important, and my tribute to my heritage, my Arabic heritage, is to put a light into this author that comes from our region of the world that was able to unify by selling more than 100 million copies of one of the most beloved and read books of all times. Includes every religion, every race, different ages. You know, uh, it it's really brings the world together. He has really brought the world together and uplifted their spirit. And I want the world to know about this. I think it's important that they know about these great thinkers from the Middle East and how much we have to learn from them. Well, Hollywood is not known for presenting Arab characters in positive light or the Middle Eastern culture. Mm -hmm. um, were you ever concerned that some of the directors may misinterpret or misunderstand or misrepresent the heritage that you wanted to um, present? We gave them absolute freedom for their interpretation. Uh, the point was to see how this Middle Eastern thinker 
had affected different people around the world. And everybody sees something different in it, but they bring it to their culture. So it was more about showing how if you take religion and uh, logistics, geographical logistics, out of the equation, we are all pure and we're all the same human beings. And we are interconnected. So you want to universalize it. You want to universalize the story and the movie and the book. Yes. Yes, because by universalizing, we all become cities, you know, citizens of the universe that work together to make this place a better place. We have to emphasize what makes us the same, not what separates us. The Middle Eastern culture is not um, fully understood by the Western uh, societies and actually uh, gravely misunderstood. I don't know if you noticed that. Uh, yes. Your, I'm sure you must have encountered that. Of course. And as a, uh, as a Lebanese woman, as a Mexican woman, what's misunderstood in general is that we have to look at individuals as individuals. We have to create art pieces that makes people remind themselves of how precious we all are and give them the courage to explore their uniqueness so we can find new ways of thinking, so we can change the world. I hope the film makes people curious about their perception about the Middle Eastern people. Yeah, and particularly when it comes from you, because everybody knows you, you're well known around the world. And so when you come, and I loved it when in Cannes, you stood, you stood up and you said, I'm also an Arabic Lebanese actress, not only Mexican. It's true. But I always and that, that means a lot to people to understand that even Salma Hayek is... And proud, proud mm -hmm. to be. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Salma. Bye-bye.